Game on. Hey there, game gurus. Welcome back to the channel. Just doing a quick little video here. Now it's Christmas time. I did some shopping at some stores. I did go into Five Below. When I saw these guys just sitting on the shelf, I thought I'd pick them up. They were $5 each, and they're uh, Pac-Man icons, uh, little light-up displays. So we have uh, 001, which is the Pac-Man. He lights up. We have 002, which is the blinky light. And then 003, the turn to blue ghost have to eat the power pellets. So I'm not expecting two too much. They were $5 each. But let's just take a quick look and see what we do have. So look at the boxes themselves. You know, they're pretty nice. The, the light is anything. It's, they're, they're surprised they don't fly away. But just the box itself, I mean, it looks nice at $5. They did a nice job here on the box. And I guess there's only three different ones to choose from now. Hopefully they'll make the other ones. It'd be kind of nice to have a complete set. But uh, the box themselves look really, really nice. They're eye-catching. And that's the Pac-Man one. And here is 002. It's got a nice silver, which kind of reflects the light. You know, again, no one cares about boxes more than probably I do. But uh, there's only three to choose from at this particular time. But the box themselves, I do like how they have the window here so you can kind of see what the device looks like inside. Again, they're supposed to light up, but I can't imagine they're going to do very, very well. They do not include the batteries. And here is 003. Again, same thing. The box is just, uh, I think, well done. It does scratch easy, but again, no one keeps boxes but me. But let's take one of these other boxes. We'll start with the Pac-Man one, and we're going to have to put in some batteries. So I do have some, uh, take two uh, AAA batteries. So I do have some batteries here. Just to try it out. Let's get this thing out of the box. I'll try not to ruin the box because, again, collectors be crazy, and I'd be one of those crazy collectors. But even on the inside, they, they pack it pretty much like, like the new, the, the, um, the Meyer cage. They have a nice piece of plastic on top to keep from falling out of its position. And then we take it out of the box here. And we have a piece of plastic on the bottom, which is I'm kind of tight. There we go. That's Pac-Man. But here's the Pac-Man one, not lit. Again, it's very, very light. This is our on-off switch. Of course, there's nothing in here right now to power it. But it does look like it's got a little, uh, like little, um, pixels to make up the Pac-Man, so it looks pretty good. And we see here it's got a little screw, uh, which I do kind of hate, but I guess for child safety they're going to put the screws in there. So we'll turn this screw to reveal, hopefully, there we go. It just takes two AAA batteries, like so. We'll put this thing back in and we got to screw it closed. I'll turn it on right now, I can't imagine it's going to be very bright. Let's see. Okay, it does have a little bit of a hot spot. It glows a little poorly in the camera. Even here, there's no light down here. It's kind of all on this side. But let's turn it off for now. And we'll turn these all on at nighttime and see what they look like. So we'll take up the next one here, which is our red uh, Blinky. And do the same thing. Open up the box. Because Glenn be crazy and like saving his boxes. Try and do it nicely. And again, it's very well protected in the packaging. Takes one out here. Here we go again. And again, again, it's very light. If I can get it out of the plastic. There we go. It is very light, but it's again, it's five below, five dollars. Power button once again. But again, even not illuminated, it looks pretty good. If you look at the Pac-Man and, and Blinky here. They actually look pretty good. But we have to put batteries in him as well. So I'm gonna do this thing down here. We put in our batteries. And again, it definitely feels like a very cheap plastic. So it's not going to take a lot of um, wear and tear. Most likely you'd be sitting up on your shelf not doing anything anyway. And we should close this one up as well. <clears throat> I want to turn it on with the light on in the room. And again, he's not illuminated too well down here, but it does illuminate up like a hot spot in the middle. But we'll also take a look and see what this looks like with the lights off. There's our two. And we have our last one here, number three, which is the Pellet Ghost. I might, I'd probably if I go back, buy a couple more of these. Maybe I can have, you know, three of these, and then, uh, you know, this one here. So it looks like I have four ghosts. Even though they're really not ghosts, even I'm calling them ghosts. They're monsters, they're original monsters. I'll always say they're monsters, because, well, they were. Here we go. Take them out of the box again, very well protected. Put this to the side. Pull this out. Let's get this thing out of the way, out of the way. How about like that? That's better. Again, the plastic doesn't want to come up on the bottom. But we'll try. There we go. And again, 
It looks very good. It's got the nice pixel look. Same on off button. Oh, this one's got batteries. This one, it's probably a return. This one's got batteries in it already. Okay, well, then we have our three ghosts right here. So what I'm gonna do right now, you can see what they look like right now with the lights on and not illuminated. We'll illuminate them one at a time. So you can kind of see what they look like in a lit room. And I'm gonna turn off the lights and see what they look like without the lights. I could definitely say they do look a little bit better in person versus in the camera. The camera showing those hot spots and cold spots a lot better. Out of the three, the Pac-Man probably looks the best in person. Just a little bit light down here, uh, and then it's very bright over here. But again, not too, too bad. Our Blinky, he's got a hot spot here. The rest of him is kind of dim overall. He could use more LEDs in him. Um, but the blue one's not too, 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 too bad as well. He looks a lot better. But again, we're talking $5 a piece at uh, five below. I can't really complain too much. Again, on your shelf next to your collections, it looked pretty good. I think I'm gonna pick up two more of the blue guys here, just so it looks like I have, uh, you know, the, the four monsters or ghosts to go along with uh, the Pac-Man. So again, it's nothing spectacular. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't have any sound effects. It just lights up. And I'm sure the batteries don't last forever in here as well. There's no way to power it externally. It just runs on two AA batteries. But again, if you happen to see them at five below, I think they're kind of neat. They would like to look nice on your shelf. And um, again, it's five below, so it's not a lot of money. But that's really it for this video, guys. Um, if you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and um, you know, share the video if you like. Please do subscribe if you're not a current subscriber. I'm very close to 9,000 subs. It'd be kind of nice to hit that 9,000 mark for the end of the year. But that's it. I hope you did like the video. And I want to tell you once again, before the new year comes in, Make sure, no matter what you do tonight, make sure you tell your family and friends that you love them. And no matter what you do or how you play your games or display your Pac-Man or Pac-Men, just remember to game on and have fun. Game on.